welcome to today's broadcast and we've got to change the calendar as well today. So let's change it here. pleased because I also turned on the candlelight as well they needed to be done but I did that off camera oh right let's see if I can shine some light on everything including myself right we'll put this charging cable down here okay let's see so thank you so much to everyone that's been supporting me, all of the people behind the scenes. Thank you so much from all these different organizations as well. As obviously you subscribing here, thank you. Yes, it's so exciting. It's our new meeting place. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Thanks folks. And you know, if things change then, you know, we'll, we'll keep up with the changes. Hopefully God willing and let you all know. But let's get on with this today now. Um, we really have been in this area of St. Luke, um, you know, between this point where um, Mary to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary and the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favoured. The Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women. The Lord was with Mary. She had married into the house of David or she'd become engaged with um, Joseph from the house of David. So they were already creating in the spiritual realm and um, their espousal was already happening in that spiritual realm. So they only had this beautiful vow to God between themselves um, and it's quite unique. Now we're going to look at the calendar and see what happens um, in terms of where we're going to open up. In fact I can't see, oh I can see it now, can you see? Let's have a look at the calendar and open it up today together. Right, where is it? It's here. And it says suddenly they saw a very bright light in the sky. Should we see what's behind here too? Let's find out. Because look, I've got my tea. Yes. So I'm ready to see. Oh. It's a Christmas bauble. It's a very like stars on it. It's kind of, yeah. The top bit's always so shiny like a star, isn't it though? Let's have a look. One of these ones. Yeah. That little bit that goes around the top of the bubble. It was so pretty, aren't they? But the whole entire bubble is gorgeous. Here we go, here's the star. Here we go. And okay, so I've actually had a look here. And this is all about the star. Now, it talks about the star in St. Matthew. And it's uh, chapter 2, verse 10. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. Let's go a little bit before that. Now, this is um, the three wise men, the kings. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, and thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. They departed and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. 
And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. Out of Egypt have I called my son. Glory to God. The bubble. What is the story as well of the Christmas bobble? We will look into that, God willing, as well. Um, because we've got a bobble in a place where, you know, we're talking about this bright light in the sky. And is it, yeah, it's actually over the bright light uh, on the main picture outside. Okay, so the Christmas bauble then, it really reminds us of Christ. There's no beginning, no end, um, but yet he is the beginning and the end. It's eternal and it reminds us of what Christ talks about, about the fact that life is eternal through the belief and through the acceptance of the Holy Spirit and of God. Thanks be to God for this reminder in the Christmas bauble. We can see them here behind in the Christmas tree which apparently dates as far back as um, being something popular in ancient Egypt and then developed obviously with a Christian value um, through royal connections here in the United Kingdom and abroad in the United States of America. Then all around the world, all places started to make these beautiful Christmas ornaments and competing with each other as well. Um, but also working together with each other too, to increase in the types of bubbles that were made. Some of them personalised, obviously, some of them different colours um, with different types of material and textures added on or added into them. And once again, just drawing back to that round shape there of eternity and that spherical reminder of all of us on Earth having that opportunity um, to understand that as well as to, to live in that way, which changes our outlook entirely, if you think. So behind the star, this um, very important Christmas bauble, which reminds us of that eternal gift of Jesus Christ. So... The beauty in this genius which God has brought forward, even in this interpretation of glory and thanks to God, that today's window would open up talking about this great bright light. But yet in the window, we find a bauble, a Christmas bauble, and we're brought to all the history, but we're brought to the deep reminder with these two combined that God is the ultimate eternal light. This round figure is that idea of eternity, the beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega, eternity in that round spherical shape, but also bringing that into the world as well, that Jesus came into the, this world to give us this light. And it really does have an impact on how we live our lives. Mine, not just with my royal blood, but my spiritual royalty, that combined makes me perhaps look at things and choose things and walk in a way that's quite different to others. And there's a similarity between royalty and stars, but there's also differences. And some people find that their light or their way of doing things may have a limit, may have a timeline, may be finite. Whereas with God and those of us in God, it is infinite. The understanding is different and it impacts how we live our life, the choices that we make, the way that we view things and the perspective that we have. But we can still be guided by wisdom as to how others might view things to have compassion and to draw them out in the net. And of course, yes, from that net that we draw people out and when we have compassion, and we know we can help them in certain ways. And we just follow that same 
guidance through God, through the Holy Spirit, um, with that wisdom there, as and when we're called, as is appropriate, and as is sensed different right to each and every situation and each and every person. It's a kind, compassionate net. It's not like catching a fish in that way that you would. It is a, a more like an, a catching of an understanding. I catch you, I get you, I get you, I understand you kind of a thing. <laughs> Just wanted to point that one out there. Very, very important. And thank you so much for joining me once again. Um, and I do hope that you will subscribe very soon, as soon as you can, to get timely updates and um, keep searching out here. This should be available, God Dwelling on Love Like His podcast as well. And I will keep you informed. And I will also pop this onto my site on Facebook as well. Many, many blessings. Have a wonderful, my goodness, we didn't say this, right? It's the 17th day of Advent now. So have a wonderful 13th of December, 2022 and the 17th day now of Advent. Blessings.